murder. Cat burglary, you're earning those stripes. I've earned these stripes many times over. Seriously, how are you finding it? Till nothing profound has shifted. Just another tick in the box. There's a dissatisfaction and a malaise. I thought I wanted to be a sergeant, but now I've achieved that. And so, what do I want? Where am I going? What am I doing? That's a reflection of where the station is. The long and distinguished history of Oxford City Police is ended. When Cowley ends and becomes Thames Valley, will we have a place there or not? Two detective sergeants would ordinarily be surplus in a neck of this size, but right now, Division's got other fish to fry. Thought you'd be pleased. Well, a reprieve's not a pardon. I'd as soon as not wait another six months for the other shoe to drop. There's an uncertainty in the air. Change is afoot. D.S. Morse will be showing you around. He's a good man, so watch, listen and learn. I'm used to working alone, sir. He'd learn more from you. I expect he would. You've got rank now. That brings responsibilities. <clears throat> Fancy doesn't show much potential. <laughs> Find out what he did there. Phone call, isn't it? If you're willing to settle for the bare minimum, yes. Maybe it is a bit hard on him, but I think you kind of have to be on your top game if you're going to solve these murders. You're not messing around. He's all right, you know. He's too full of himself by half. So I think he can't help but judge people by the same standards that he judges himself. Give him a chance. He might surprise you. Towards the end of it, we have to reach a point where if you are going to be a mentor to this person, then I'm going to make sure that I've given you as much as I can. Unless whoever put it there wanted it to be found. With making six this time, it does give you an opportunity to see more of the characters. Fancy, true love, strange. Some shepherd's pie in the oven I've left it to warm. Beans in the pan. It's good because then you're creating the world of it a bit more then. The great thing about the Thursday family is that there's so much you can add to it. Whatever happened, I'll get to the bottom of it. Hello, stranger. Like in this, we have Thursday's brother and his family come and they try to lend money off him. So he's got his own personal thing going on, and with Wynne, who wants him to retire. You've done your bit, Fred, and more. And him being not so sure whether he's going to retire or not. But what we have in terms of our relationship is a continuation of the idea of he is stuck in his ways of a very specific way of doing things. And I am attempting as much as I can to challenge that. Where's a good place to get a drink round here? Come with me. He's just being a bit more in the moment, I think. I'm meeting girls, I'm going out for a date, I'm going out and spending the night with them. Who's your friend? <sighs> it's just some girl. Why he's doing it, I think, because it's hard spoken about Joan. But we do get to see someone who's a little bit more comfortable in their skin, perhaps. It's just getting older, maturing a bit, I think.